Right, so now we've had a practice at the basics, all right, I'm going to set you a few little challenges we can do. Now, uh, key stage one, okay, so we, I'm going to set you some challenges and older children, I'm going to set you the same, but we can make it harder, all right? So first challenge is going to be how many catches can we do in a minute, okay? And what I want you to do is start with a bigger size ball first, or an object, all right, and then we're going to make it harder. So. All I want you to do is count how many you can do, maybe parents could time, a minute. Now if we drop the item, we just don't count that one, but then we carry on. So one, two, we'll drop that one, three, four, and so on. Now once you've done that for a minute, see how many you score, then can you move to a smaller item, all right? And do exactly the same, so one minute of catching. Now remember what our basics of catching are? Hands ready, okay, and watch the ball all the way in, okay, and try and stay balanced. All right, so be interesting to see how many you do with the bigger size ball and the smaller. So that's for, for one or two minutes, okay. The next one, what I want you to do, okay, is can you either receive the ball from your parent or helper, or if you're doing it on your own, throw the ball up, but before you catch, can you do some claps? How many claps can you do? So I'm starting with one, but I am having to catch the ball at the end, okay? You can't just keep clapping and let the ball hit the floor. All right, so throw up, okay? One's quite easy, might try and do two, okay? So see how you get on with that as well. And that's really good, just to keep our hands out ready, okay? Because we're having to clap and then our hands are ready, all right? So that's a good one to practice. Um, another one we can do to work on what I was saying for the older children, okay, with our balance, Maybe, can we stand on one leg and catch the ball? Okay. Okay, so can we try those challenges, but also keep remembering to swap around the item so you're not just working with the same object all the time, all right? So you might want to do that and then work with the bigger one again, okay? So keep swapping them around, all right? And also, be really good, can you come up with your own challenge? All right, so maybe have a think now Maybe you can come up with your own catching challenge that you can do in practice, all right? Remember to always mix up the items, okay? It's really good to practice with different shapes and sizes, okay? Right, now, after we've done that, we're going to move on to some moving and catching as well. So what you need to do now, okay, is just set up some areas, okay? So I might just use this bean bag as well. So I've got three areas to move to. If you can't see that. So I've got my green area, orange, okay, and then my bean bag here as well, okay. You can make boxes if you want or just put pieces of items down that you have to move to. And all I want you to do, okay, like I say, if you've got parent and helper helping as well, start here and then you might move to this one, throw the ball up, catch, or receive a catch. Then you might move to the next one and receive a different catch or use a different item, okay. So I've moved from the orange, catching a big ball. Maybe when I move to the bean bag, I've got a smaller ball to catch, okay? And then maybe when I move to the green, I've got my socks to catch, okay? And also now, because we've had lots of practices, okay, maybe not the catch being in the same area all the time as well, okay? So maybe if we've got someone throwing us the ball, it might be a bit lower or it might be a bit higher, okay? So we're not used to the ball in the same area all the time. We need to react because hopefully, as you talked about in different sports, the ball might not always come straight to your hands, okay? I play a lot of cricket. Sometimes the ball goes really low for a catch, or it might go really high, okay? So we need to practice lots of different things, all right? So I'll just show you that again. So we're here, start wherever you like, then move across, receive a catch, okay? With a different item. Move along to somewhere else, different catch, different item. Move somewhere else, different catch, okay? Also speeds as well. We might be able to throw it a bit faster sometimes, or throw it a bit slow, okay? So basically we're just practicing all those skills, but we're not having it easy straight to our hands all the time, okay? Because we're building up and we've practiced lots now, all right? So hopefully those challenges and the movement will be good, and I'll be back shortly.